Hello everyone, this is Corey again with the Yosemite Conservancy and uh, I was feeling kind of cooped up in the house today so I decided to take a walk around the neighborhood and do a little backyard botanizing and uh, yeah I'm so glad I got outside today. It is an absolutely beautiful spring day here just right outside of Yosemite National Park and um, as I was walking I came across one of my favorite spring flowers here in Yosemite and you may have seen this on your visits before. You may have even stopped the car and pulled over on the side of the road because it is so bright and red. And what this is, is actually a snow plant. Uh, its Latin name is Sarcodia sanguinea. And uh, Sarcodia sanguinea translates into the bloody flesh-like thing. So what is this thing? Um, so this is a plant that is actually void of chlorophyll. You notice it does not have green in it. It's all red, which is kind of strange to be a plant then, right? Because plants are normally green, right? They, plants and green sort of go together, um, like peanut butter and chocolate. So why is this plant not green? Well, this plant is actually void of chlorophyll. And if it's void of chlorophyll, then we have to ask ourselves, well, how does it get nutrients, right? If it can't produce photosynthesis, how can it survive? And the way that it survives is actually stealing nutrients. It's mycotrophic. And what that means is it's stealing nutrients from fungus down below the soils. So if we look around, we can see there are pine trees all around us here, beautiful ponderosa pines. And these snow plants are tapping into this underground network of fungus or mycorrhizal fungi, the hyphae below the ground. And um, mycorrhizal fungi, they tap into the roots of trees and they share nutrients with trees. And because of that symbiotic relationship, the trees will share a little bit of nutrients with them. And these snow plants, their roots are going to tap into that network and they're going to steal some of those nutrients in order for them to survive. So you'll often find these snow plants growing in Yosemite in shady areas with lots of pine duff underneath conifers. And they're tapping into that network and stealing those nutrients so they can survive. So they have this adaptation for survival. So next time you're in Yosemite, take a look out for these beautiful snow plants. And uh, if you spend enough time with the snow plants, you'll also find hummingbirds that are feeding on the beautiful flowers here. You'll also find lots of bees. In fact, just while... We're here now. There's a hummingbird attempting to feed. So perfect timing. I called that in for you. All right. So yeah, check out uh, maybe in your backyard. What's interesting in your backyard right now that you can find?